R&B superstar R. Kelly's accomplishments have long been shadowed by allegations that he sexually abused women and children. The singer, who was sentenced to 30 years in prison for racketeering and sex trafficking early this year, has been found guilty in his hometown of Chicago on child pornography charges. After about 11 hours of deliberation, a federal jury in Chicago has convicted the disgraced singer on child pornography charges for making videotapes of himself sexually abusing his then 14-year-old goddaughter. The trial, his second in two years, dealt with the infamous sex tape that came to light in 2002. But the three-time Grammy Award winner was acquitted by a federal jury of seven other counts, including charges that he obstructed justice in a previous trial. Kelly's conviction in New York was widely seen as a milestone for the hashtag MeToo movement. It was the first major sex abuse trial where majority of the accusers were black women. It was also the first time Kelly faced criminal consequences for the abuse he was rumored for decades to have inflicted on women and children. The singer has vehemently denied the allegations, but his accusers testified that he subjected them to perverse and sadistic activities when they were underage. Kelly, born Robert Sylvester Kelly, was the most co commercially successful male R&B artist of uh, the 1990s. He won three Grammys for his song, I Believe I Can Fly. Critics had dubbed him the king of R&B. And how the mighty fall. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.